least it's warmed up a bit. Right, so good morning. This isn't going to be fun at all. So, I forgot my camera yesterday. Um, ended up picking an engine up, dropping it off. I was on call, so I had to do it between jobs. Um, basically dropped that off, um, and Mick turned around and went, go on then, get your Land Rover around, we'll start it. So, it all started pretty quick. So, got the Landy around, before we knew it, because I'd not got my camera on and stuff, before you knew it, winch bumper was off, winch was off, bonnet was off, grill was off, radiator was off, and the wing's half off. Um, so, yeah, we've started a little bit. So today, the, the plan of attack is, um, I'm going to try and get the wings off and all the electrics out and everything. Uh, get everything labelled up on the bulkhead. Maybe, maybe start stripping the dashboard off. Um, for those that don't know, uh, when I bought the Land Rover about six years ago, the bulkhead was already starting to rot. It was already, you know, it got holes in it. Um, the footwells had already gone, so repair patched them. Then below the, the vents, below the windscreen, usual places, that you know you, you gave it a bit of a stern poke and that went through so that got repair patches uh, now when um, I was doing the mirrors because Gareth thank you again <laughs> it's you know one of them little things that makes a big difference he gave me one of the the longer arms you know for the mirrors uh, on the passenger side and he's bloody brilliant so thank you again um, yeah so I put that on but when tightening that down, you could see the whole bulkhead kind of flex a bit, and it's like, no, nah, that, that needs doing. And then the other day, um, all the electrics went to the back end of the vehicle, opened the fuse board up, the fuse board's all corroded, and there's damp in it and stuff, and it's still on the old glass fuses. So it's like, bulkhead's gone, wiring's gone. It's 33 years old. It's, it's had its money's worth, if you know what I mean. People say, oh, Land Rover's rot, this, that. It's lasted 33 years. Most cars have been scrapped at 15 years. So, yeah, new bulkhead. I've got a second, I tried to get a new wiring loom, but Autosparks was like a three month waiting list for it. And I can't wait three months for a wiring loom. So I've ended up getting a second hand 300 wiring loom that's on its way to me now. I've got the 300 engine that I got off Johnny a year ago um, out of his Range Rover Classic and gearbox out of that. Um, and then, that's it so far. I've got my locking axles and stuff to go on that I've had for years, but, they're down the bottom of a field and I don't want to churn the field up, get into them. Um, so priority is engine change, wiring change, bulkhead change, uh, all new pipes, all new fittings, all new fixtures, everything that's, anything that causes you a drama. Um, so like split pipes, bearings, anything like that, they're all getting changed as we're doing this. So it's like, you know when you've got guaranteed a couple of years before you have any, any issues. So that's the plan with it. Once that's done, uh, gonna look at getting the locking axles on, all the brakes uprated and fixed properly this time, not like the local Land Rover garage did. Uh, then we're gonna see how we go then for funds, but while I'm buying the interior stuff for the DAF, I'm gonna try and get a bit extra and redo the interior for the Land Rover at the same time. Um, Cause you know what it's like, if you buy a certain amount of something, if you get a little bit extra, it doesn't really cost you that much more. So we'll see where we go for that. Anyway, let's crack on. So here we go. So wheels off, so we can get to the bolts at the back of the uh, wings. All the front ends off. Uh, like I said, this was a 200 TDI auto out of a, a Discovery. I'm going to put 300 out of a Range Rover in. <clears throat> yeah, this is where we're at so far. So, nothing too spectacular, but yeah, we can crack on. Priorities. Right, so to get this wing off, bolt here, bolt here. Come round to the inside. 
you've got a bolt here. Then you've got three bolts just behind here. This isn't them, by the way, this is just a bit of plastic trim. Behind here, one, two, three. The first one's bolted on, second one I've got out. The third one, I've got absolutely no idea, because it's about here and it bolts the wing to the bulkhead. I only have to crack it off a touch and there's a slot so I can lift the whole wing off, but just even getting anything onto the end of it and being able to turn it, nightmare. Might end up having to set the heater box off, not sure yet though. So we're doing, got all the bolts out. Down here, for some reason there's a rivet and whatever that is, so we're getting that off. It looks to make what's left of a bolt. Right, so now we can just take the wiring off here and that'll come back through. Now we can actually see what we're doing. So what we're doing, um, we've got the prop shafts taken off now. The transfer box is all unbolted. Engine's getting unbolted now and then we're going to try and lift the thing out and uh, see what we've got. Then we basically, we're going to strip everything off the bulkhead at the front, get the dashboard off, label everything up, and then have a look what it's going to take to get this bulkhead off. Ah, oh, so there we go. Engine out, wings off, gearbox out. Tomorrow, task is tidy up, because it's a bit drastic in here. Uh, and then we're going to label everything up and get this bulkhead off if we can. And uh, just down here, we've got the new galve bulkhead and all the new bits and pieces to go back on it so yeah scary stuff good morning welcome to day three so we'll have another day of uh, professional mechanics screaming at the computer uh, <laughs> like i said this is just chickens this is uh, just me and my mates uh, accomplishing a task so not one of us is an expert in it, but it's one of them things where we're all tinkerers and stuff, so we're doing it the best we can with what we can. Uh, it is a gorgeous morning. Look at this. So yeah, first jobs of the day. Go get some pallet wood and stuff. Uh, get the fire lit. Uh, start to tidy a few tools into a few places uh, what we're about doing is getting the wings and everything outside bringing a table in so we've got everything that we can put down bag up mark up everything like that because so far it's not been too bad we've got a couple of bags for the nuts and bolts and everything for the wings um, and the grill surround things like that we've got um, a couple of bags for things like the, the bolts for the prop shaft uh, and prop shafts and then uh, some odds and sods for like dropping the engine out and stuff. But the bulk of that's come out with the old engine, if that makes sense. So it's only now when we're doing the dashboard and bulkhead and stuff, we've really got to be careful marking everything up. So yeah, um, file it and tidy up. One thing before I forget, um, on, I can't remember if it's the last video or video before, I did that little snippet, you know, where I did, um, they sent me them O bulbs, O light did. Um, and basically, the way it works, obviously, I put stuff out, if they offer stuff that's of use or a good deal or anything like that, the more people that click on it and go over there, the better stuff and the more stuff they're going to send me. Um, I looked on the account thing that they send me, loads of people said that they bought this deal and they bought that deal and they bought the other, um, but according to Olight, nothing got sold. Um, I know the torches are bang on, but the admin seems absolutely shocking for sending stuff out late and then not registering stuff or what have you so if you did buy something um off my recommendation if you could put the um if you want to email it below or if you want to post it in the comments or what have you if you've got an order number tracking number whatever they called it if you can put that on that'd be awesome because i can send that back to them and say look loads of people said they bought it where's the numbers something's clearly wrong because otherwise they'll just stop sending me stuff to give away to people and they'll stop you know showing me the deals and things so if you could do that that'd be much appreciated because 
I know a load and loads of people said that they bought this bundle, bought that bundle, because it was a good offer. It was like 40, 45% off a lot of it. So yeah, if you could do that, that's awesome, because it's just playing the corporate game, isn't it? So just carrying on. It's one of them, got the fire lit. Just trying to get all the tools in one spot, because uh, as you do, it ends up everywhere. I'm just, uh, if you can see there, just bagging a few bits up for like cross members, this mount, that mount. Got the transfer box off. I'm keeping this one because this is a very late one. It's it's quite new, low mileage, um, because this is obviously out of a discovery, which has something like a, a 1.2 ratio, uh, whereas I prefer the 1.4 ratio, um, which means the cruising speed's a little bit lower, but you've got a bit more acceleration, um, which obviously I don't need too much cruising speed. I need more pull. Eventually, I don't know, I'm 50-50. I'm warming and are in about the 1.6 ratio, but we'll see how it goes with the new engine in. Because um, I know when I had my uh, soft top 110 and I used to tow the trailer behind it, I had a I had the 1.2 in and it was absolutely fine. So I don't know whether it's this engine, this setup, or whether it's just a massive brick and heavier. I don't know. Unfortunately, it's one of them put it together, run it, try it kind of things. Um, don't know if we're doing anything with performance upgrades or not. Uh, half of me says keep it standard and just turn the boost up a bit uh, and turn the, the pump up a little bit. The other half of me is do I tune it up more? But then I don't know. Let us know what you think because it's it's one of them for and against things, isn't it? There's, there's people for both. So yeah, today will be get the heater box off get all the uh, braking system off um, we'll disconnect the uh, steering and then we'll go inside and all my switch panels and everything they're gonna have to all come off uh, all the dashboards are gonna have to come off and then we're gonna have to look at taking the bolts out the top of here uh, and the bolts out the bottom of the bulkhead uh, doors off and then trying to get this out and the new galve one in and this is new to me so all you uh, YouTube mechanics, keep your opinions to yourself because I'm learning as I go. I don't know any better. <laughs> right, so Mick's taking the brakes off there. He's, uh, he's got the steering arm off as well. So, um, I mean, we can lift that off with it and then take it off when it's on the floor. Heater box, we're having trouble with that. Um, got that one ground off and that one's spinning. So I'm just taking the dashboard off now to try and find the other side of that. But... Uh, if you come round here, you'll see the issue. You'll see why I'm changing this thing. I'm gonna look at the state of that. When you start poking, it was all right till I started putting my finger through stuff. But yeah, it's it's had its day. It's gone. Uh, and what what spurred it on as well is change this um, bracket here, and you could see it all flex. So it's it's no good. It's not structural no more. Um, the patch panels on the front looks all right, but you never know what you're buying. So like when you're buying these old Land Rovers, just because it looks all right because it's all been patched. You know, you could have this behind the dashboard somewhere. But all we're doing now, because what I've done, I've got on my Raptor dash. Uh, I've got that second refuse board here. And that then supplied all the auxiliary switches, odds and ends and things. I use these waggos so you can open and close things, you know, just, just put an extra thing on or take it off quickly if you were off-road or something and something failed. Uh, and then from, it goes from the fuse board up to here, from the switches, out to wherever it is so i'm taking all the auxiliary stuff off the raptor bit has come off there and you get this raptor engineering bit off here um and hopefully that should give me access to the other screws to get this top of the dashboard off and then we'll look at getting this section off because that bolt that i need to get to is just here and i haven't figured out yet i've got that bolt out but it's still rock hard so if i just get every screw and bolt out that i can bag them up bag them, tag them, and uh, see where we go from there. It's just a case of ripping out. What I'm gonna do, so all my spotlights, everything like that, everything that's wired off of here now is just getting ripped out. Um, things like this, these are bang on LED. Um, they've served me well. You can point them wherever you're camping, things like that. Um, however, they're dated. So these will go in a, a spare parts bin um, for, for whatever, whether they wanna go on a tractor or whatnot. Uh, and then what we'll do is I've got some nice and new modern ones that'll just go up flush up into here 
uh, and everywhere else that needs be. So good morning, I'm here with my glamorous assistant, Marquette. <laughs> He's a beautiful creature, isn't he? Right, so <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I've broke you already. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're getting the two bolts out here, we're going to get the doors off and then in theory there's just this here next to these speed holes <laughs> that I poked uh, and then we're going to try and somehow lift this up a touch and get this out because there's some pins on the top of here where the windscreen folds into and holds itself and then this can come out, new one in, reverse the process, <laughs> there'd be no dramas whatsoever. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Boss is on site, that's it, management's here. <laughs> that's me here. Come on then, make up and door. DeLoreans have got no on this. Oh yeah, we've got to do the disclaimer because there'll be someone having absolute kittens saying that's not the way to do it. And it's like, well, no, it's probably not. But this bulkhead is so far gone, it's scrap. It's not salvageable. So why potentially ruin the windscreen when we can put the bottom of the bulkhead? Right, so the reason we're doing this now is this is unbolted. You can see the gap that we've got going on here. But problem we've got is, because we can't lift the, the windscreen, normally you take the windscreen off uh, and it'd be an absolute nightmare to unrivet and everything, all this section. So instead of doing that, he's cut all the bottom mount off so that can then come forward and that'll like drop out, up and then away. The new one, because it's got less stuff attached to it and all the rest of it, we'll play that game as it comes along. That's all these wires, isn't it? What vehicle is rolled in there? Man. Yeah, all the wires and all these. That grey, that, that one there. You need that multi plug one. So there we go. Fairly drastic, but needs doing so all we're doing now there's no end of like old fuel lines for the old petrol v8 there's odds and sods brackets fuel pumps old wiring that's now redundant that all needs to be stripped off once that's stripped off you can see where everything's kind of going um we can start lifting the new bulkhead in and reattaching all the new parts um and making a list of all the things that we need to order like new heater box and and things that as we've dug into it it's not just the motor the whole thing's kind of knackered so just replace as we go So there we go, all we're doing now, you can see here, all this is absolutely um, rock hard. It's, it's not bad at all. There was some um, wax oil and stuff on here. We're just giving it a clean off now, just degreasing it and stuff. We'll get it wiped down. Everything that's gonna be hard to get to is gonna get a coat of paint or wax oil again. Uh, and then from there, uh, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, Mark. What we're gonna do. What we're gonna do, the Royal Way. Uh, we're going to take these two engine mounts off because we've got brand new uh, eBay special engine mounts. A glamorous assistant demonstrating these. <laughs> and it looks like, we could be wrong, but it looks like these are going to sit a lot further back just by the, the leg size of how it's been cut out and made and everything. So um, we're going to offer everything up, uh, get it all welded in and stuff, get it all painted and start getting it back together again so yeah one thing i would like to get but it depends how many small bits i have to, because it's it's your 20 30 quid kind of items that make these builds expensive and there's a lot of them um if the pot's all right at the end of it my suspension's sagging because um terra firma these days are not what they used to be they've sagged to death i've already replaced the back set um but these have sagged to death now so i'm probably going to go um 
I don't know, Iron Man or Old Man Emu or something on the on the front and some new turrets. But again, let's see how much this all costs first. Torched it to dry uh, all the steel out because there's a lot of moisture in it. Um, cleaned all the old sealant, all bits and pieces like that off, and we're just getting some fresh wax oil, get it all nice and sealed up again. Because this is the bit that once once all the new bulkheads on, even if I don't have this treated again in the future, it'd be hard pushed to get to these these places, no matter how good it is. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's just preventative maintenance now, isn't it? That and Nick told me to, so I'll just do it. So what we're doing now, the chassis sprung a little bit, so we've got the winch in, just pulling it together a touch just to get these bolts in now, we can release the pressure and it'll sit nice. Alright, so that's enough for tonight, so that's in now, bolts at the bottom are a bit loose, windscreen's pulled back down to it. Uh, and we've roughly put the doors on and locked it for now, but there's a few of the um, few of the bolts just need to redo them and just hang the door so it's nice. Once that's done, bulkhead can be all tightened up everywhere. Make sure it's all sat right, the doors open and shut okay, and then that's that bit done. Then it's okay. So getting the engine back down, welding the engine mounts in where everything should be, and then from there building it back up with the dashboard, the wiring loom, heater box power steering, all that jab, so yeah, if uh, any of this is any use to you, give us a thumbs up, uh, give us a comment, usual stuff, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one, thanks for watching.